Let's continue with our Mountain Memory series here on Manx Radio. Let's go to the Valleys of Wales. Is it the Valleys of Wales or where about are you, Matthew Rees? Welcome. We're deep in the heart of the Valleys in a special place called Aberdeer, Chris. I'm sure, Aberdeer, I'm sure you've oh. heard of the famous Aberdeer Park races. Yeah. Are they hoping to be back this year? August the 7th and 8th, I believe. So, providing the Welsh Government wise up and sort it out, we can race. <laughs> <laughs> what a funny year. What a funny year, Matthew. We spoke around about this sort of time last year, yeah. didn't we? You know, with, with, yeah. the, with the Kawasaki options uh, thing that we did. And we we're all thinking, yeah, yeah, we'll see you at the end. We'll see you in September. Yeah. It won't be long, blah, 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 blah. Who'd have thunk it? Hey, who'd have thunk this? I know. I, what a kick in the, in the teeth. It was a hard one. It's been tough for everyone, mind, haven't it? You know, nobody's ridden and it's been, you know, pandemic has hit everyone in such a hard way. Despite the racing, you know, think people have been getting so ill and dying. It's just a tough time. So everybody's quite sad, really. But it's, it's like the end of the tunnel now and everybody seems to be smiling again and things are getting slowly back to normal. It's good. Well, back to normal this year of the week for you at Scarborough. How did that go, uh, racing around Oliver's Mount? Yeah, it was good. It was good to get back in Scarborough. Uh, first time back in three years and obviously a long time off the bike. Uh, we, had a, we had a wobble about and we, we had a bit of a problem, so we missed qualifying, so we had to go start at the back of the grid, but I was just happy to get out the ride and, yeah, we finished off with a second and a first, so happy to come home smiling in the end. I had a quick chat to Dean Harrison the other day and I was asking him about what's it like because obviously you guys message each other all the time, you know, with other races yeah. and stuff. Just to see them in person again must have been nice. Yeah, he's a legend, isn't he? You know, he's, he's uh, talking to the boys up there. I think they're talking about coming down for a ride on the, well, on the bikes at some point now in between races or whatever, try and get a bit of training done. But I think Johnny's t- the, t- the new team manager is going to sort something out and come down to Wales and... I'm going to give him a hiding for a change of the dirt. <laughs> are you good? At, are, are, you, are you good on the old enduro bikes, are you? Ah, and I ride the good bikes. <laughs> ah, okay. I, I, yeah, no, the boys I ride with, uh, they take me out and they usually give me an hiding, so I think it'll be hard enough for them. Tell us about the bikes over your left and right shoulders. Tell us a bit about them. What have you got there? Uh, we've got uh, a KMR twin, which is uh, supplied by um, Heat Tech. Uh, which is owned by Mark Harrison, which I raced in Scarborough last weekend. Uh, I got my the red top ZX10, and as you can see, we've got the new ZX10 the 21, which uh, we're going to build that now and get it prepped for winter testing. So that's obviously so for, for next year. For next year, this we haven't had enough time on the bike, so I, I'm not. I want to get a, a, a more time on the bikes now before I jump back in a thousand. So build that ready for Spain. And the plan is leave it out there and try and get back and forth as much as we can, do as much testing as possible. What sort of help are you getting from Kawasaki? Well, it's, to be honest, they've been great ever since day one. It's been a long time now and it's very loyal of them to keep looking after me. Um, they give us good, very good discount on the bikes and GT Superbikes down in Wales, which is where it all stemmed from. Uh, they're still on board and, and uh, they're just looking after me with whatever I need, parts, bikes. It's, it's really good to be honest without them and all the other sponsors it wouldn't really be happening so I, I, I know that Rich I couldn't do it on my own <laughs> well name a road racer that is but look, think talking about yeah. sponsors with the tough year everybody's had have all your loyal yeah. sponsors stayed on board with you your personal yeah. sponsors yeah they have yeah and, and I believe a lot of them have had tough times themselves and so we've still got them on board you know Fuchs Sukalina is still on board and there's quite a good list of sponsors that are still there so, but uh, it's, yeah, it's good. What about the rest of the year? Obviously, no TT, bit of a shame. No classic TT Manx Grand Prix. You're not coming back to the Arnold or even the Southern 100. What, what's next no. on the calendar the rest of the year for 2021? Right. Well, we're going to do a club meeting next week now in Castle Coombe, North Gloucester. Uh, then I'm going to go to back to Scarborough, do the Barry Sheen. And then we're going to go do an endurance race in Anglesey. Then I'm going to go straight to Armoy, mm-hmm. Armoy Road Races, and then a week after that, back to Aberdeen and to Aberdeen. And then I'm going to see what we can get in, then in between the Gold Cup. I'm thinking it might be an endurance race I can get on just before the Gold Cup. Because they're talking about a Cookstown as well, aren't they, this year? Possibility of doing that? Yeah, but it's, yeah I, I love Cookstown. I've been there before, and next year is, I'm going to do the full championship next year, which is why I'm going to do Armoy now this year. 
I've done Cookstone, but I haven't done Armoy because it's always clashed with Abney. Mm. But they're actually uh, talking and talking together now, and they're going to try and work things out so they're not clashing. So the plan is to do the full championship out in Ireland next year. So is that going to mean you're going to leave the bikes in Ireland and just keep going back and yeah. forwards? Okay. Yeah, yeah. So I've been quite lucky, really, to have uh, good friends in Ireland, the likes of Derek McGee and their team. They've been spot on helping me out and any help and support I've wanted. They've always been it. To be honest, they sorted a bike out for me for Armoy, so I'm going to team up with Derek for Armoy. Okay. Uh, the plan, the plan was to ride the twin that we got by there now in Armoy, but I, I think it needs to go in for a bit of work. So I know Ryan's a bit slow down there, but he, mm. Ryan has offered to give me a bike to do Armoy on as well. So that's the plan. Oh, that's brilliant! And Ryan obviously yeah. has a lot of success on the Irish roads. I mean, Derek's ridden for him. A lot of the Irish guys have. That's a great. That's yeah, a good. That's, yeah. that's a good foothold in the Northern Irish quarter well, for you, that isn't it? I rode for him last year in the Northwest. First mm-hmm. time I ever caught my leg over a twin, and I uh, didn't even see the bike. And we lucky we come away with a fourth mm-hmm. uh, in the Northwest 200. Mm-hmm. So he was well happy with that result. Yeah, he, he's 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 a hard taskmaster, is Ryan? Is he? But that's how he's had all the success, you know, isn't it? Well, you know what he's doing, doesn't he? So fair play to him. So your team, Matthew, obviously, what have all your friends been doing, your helpers uh, and everyone else over these last year or so? Have you all been keeping in close contact well, as much as you can? Yeah, to be honest with you, yeah, we've been talking a lot, keeping in contact, and I've just been doing, like, it's not a lot you could do, is it? You know, we've been doing a lot of sneaky riding, a bit of trials riding, a bit of enduro riding. I'm lucky where I'm living, uh, we've got a bit of land around us, so I've got a bit of a trial section on the go. Just keep, just kept myself busy, really, and... Trying to get down too much down in the dumps because it's been hard for everybody. You've just uh, been telling me that you've been recently a uh, long drive down. Is it to Bournemouth to bring all these? That's a long drive backward and forward, isn't it, with engines and stuff? Yeah, I left uh, six o'clock this morning. Got in about with the traffic about half past nine. <laughs> so I, dro- I dropped some engines off to uh, Allen down the road to race, sort some engines out to me now, ready for next weekend. And how, how, so how, how, quick, how quick is the turnaround on that with Allen? Ah, he's good. He's a good man. He's he's picked them up as well. To be honest with you, he said if I hang around now, he said he would have kept them. He would have done them for me there and then. But I told him I've got a very important meeting I need to get back to. <laughs> ah, okay. <laughs> obviously, obviously not this anyway. So, so Matthew, obviously, I mean, we want to be back here on the Isle of Man next year racing, don't yeah. we? And uh, that's TT Twenty One is going to be big in your plans, isn't yeah. it? TT twenty two, TT twenty two, twenty two. But I, it's shocking. I, it's two years without that place. So I'm hoping the board is going to settle now when we can get over because it'd be nice to get over this year and try and get mm. some laps in just to see if you know what's going on over there and just refresh ourselves. But I think it's important now to get over and refresh before we race again. What's the Definitely. thing? What's the first thing you do when you get here? If, if you were going to be practicing, you were going to be racing. What's the first thing you do when you get off that boat? Smile. <laughs> Feel like I'm at home. <laughs> yeah. First thing I do, uh, well, to be honest, anyway, like usually I go up to Mark and Avril's, and uh, that's where I stay. Uh, Mark actually works at the Alaman. He's he's a guy, you know, checks your passes to get into the park for me. And every year he keeps three bedrooms in his house, free for me and the team, and they proper look after us. So I usually go to their house first, settle in, and then I'll. Uh, he's got a few bikes here I can borrow. And as soon as it's light, early morning, just get out and get some laps in on the bike. If mm. it's dry, if it's wet, we get some in the car. Mm. So just just get as many laps in as I can when I'm over there. Did you ever think when you took your first Isle of Man steps, you'd still be having this much passion for it? Well, it's, <laughs> I think it's one of them things that's in you. And it, it's, they say it's like a drug. I think it's worse than a drug. <laughs> Did you think so? It's, yeah. Oh, definitely. Yeah, yeah. I've suffered quite a few big injuries and mm. and it, nothing will pull me off from coming over there. Like, no, I'll always keep coming. I've got to ask you about the, the love that you have for the Isle of Man. Obviously, there's other race circuits that you do. I think the Isle of Man above them all? Uh, I'd say so, yeah, 100%. Yeah. I love, i got to be honest, the Ulster Grand Prix is amazing. It's a shame that's not running anymore. Mm-hmm. Absolutely love that. I enjoy the Northwest and the Nationals in Ireland. You know, Tandra Gee's probably been one of my favourites at the moment. Love Cookstown. Ah, oh, boy, they say he's amazing. I've been there, done some laps, but I it'll, I think that's probably going to top it off. Ah, <laughs> oh, boy. 
Armoy is mega. Me. Armoy is mega. Yeah, what yeah. about some of the Southern Irish circuits? You've got the Scaries, the Killer Lane circuits, and you've got obviously Kells. Yeah, we've Killer done Sca- we've done Scaries. Okay. We've yeah. done. Uh, we haven't done Killer Lane. Uh, we've done Walderstown is another good mm-hmm. one. Yeah. To be honest, any of them Irish roads, the welcome we get for travelling over, they just so they saw so, it's amazing. Love the passion the Irish got over there, the crowds, everything about racing in Ireland, just the races. It's just good. Absolutely massive buzz. Well, Matthew, thanks very much for your time today. I've got to ask you the final question is, where about yeah. are you doing this interview? Is it in an office or somewhere? What's going on? What is it? <laughs> We're actually in HQ, yeah, tip top. So it's a business of ours. Me and my brother started 11 years ago. So I've had to keep switch all the phones off and prioritise you for Kozak. <laughs> <laughs> well, Matthew, it's been, a, it's been a pleasure speaking to you, buddy. We'll hopefully yeah. see you near the end of the year. Yeah. Just stay safe over there and uh, be careful when you're yeah. out on your Jura bikes with Dean Harrison and those lot, will you? Hey. Yeah, I'll, I'll try and take my time with them. Ha, 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 ha.